I'm Haruhiro Imai, 25 years old. I'm unemployed and at the lowest point of my life. Haruhiro, how's your job searching going? <sighs> no good at all. I see. Well, you can stay here for a while so you can settle down. My sister Akine is the one who's nice to me. I've been staying here since I quit my job due to the mental breakdown caused by working for a corrupt company. I'm about to make dinner. What do you want? Um, anything. Oh, but I'd like some meat. Okay. In exchange for housing, I do all the housework. And I'm good at cooking, which is well received. There's no trouble with daily life, but I couldn't keep this up forever. Hey, Haruhiro, you don't have a girlfriend, right? Nope, and I'm in this situation. I have no time for that. I understand how you feel, but listen. Sis has an arranged marriage proposal for you. What? I feel so sorry for the other person. I'm the worst of the worst. That's not true. Well, there are some complicated circumstances, but... Sounds suspicious. Are they going to make me buy some paintings or something? No, you're going to change jobs. Get used to this new place. If you do that, you'll be in a hurry to get married. You should go on some blind dates while you're at it. You're 25, right? Huh. <sighs> Don't you have any photos? Isn't she super pretty? Yeah. I can't trust pretty girls anymore. Anyway, this is an order. Fine. The weekend. I couldn't disobey my sister since I live with her. So I came to the meeting place for the blind date. Ugh, I haven't talked to anyone other than Akine and waitresses in a while. She seemed dull, so I'm not sure if I can talk to her. Oh, uh, Haruhiro. Yes. But the one who came and talked to me was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. She looks younger than me, but she looks like a different person from the woman on the phone. Wait, Kaho Yamazaki. Wow, you remembered in an instant. I'm so happy. She's one year older than me and used to play with me when I was little. She's the same age as Akine and a good friend of hers. Why are you here on a blind date, Kaho-san? Well, there are a lot of reasons. Anyway, I'm glad I get to see our hero for the first time in a while. I'm happy too, but I was surprised to see a different woman than the one my sister showed me. What kind of woman was she? Well, it was a woman who was a little plain and wore glasses. Oh, that's probably from when I talked to Akine about how I get hit on a lot. And she let me disguise myself as a plain-looking woman. Uh, I see. Akine is a bit of a goofball, so I think she made a mistake. I'll complain to my sister later. <laughs> this reminds me of the time when I used to act as an intermediary whenever you and Akine got into a fight. You're right, I kind of miss it. Yeah, so today, I have a favor to ask of you, Haruhiro. What do you mean by favor? I want to live with you on the premise of marriage. O what do you mean? Because it's a blind date, right? We're just moving fast. Oh, we were on a blind date after all. But there's something going on, isn't there? Well, you see, my father assigned me to a marriage partner already. Assigned to a marriage partner? I may look like this, but I'm the daughter of the president. It's not exactly a political marriage, but there's circumstances. I didn't know you were such a young lady. I didn't know such a thing existed in real life. I guess so. Anyway, the man I was assigned to marry is a real jerk. He's very condescending. Why would your father pick such a jerk to marry? Because the company would grow. He's the son of the president of the company we're working with. Wow, what a selfish reason. Right. That's why I came up with this plan. And the plan is? I'm going to live with you and get married so I can tell him I can't. I see. But are you okay with a guy like me? You're the only one, Haruhiro. Could you please cooperate? Uh, I know it's a sudden request, but I can't refuse if she's that desperate. Okay, I'll cooperate. Really? Thanks, Haruhiro. Let's live together starting tomorrow then. Oh, tomorrow? Overwhelmed by Kaho's determination, I was to move in with her. <laughs> I knew you'd accept the request. Get along well with each other. Oh, but don't get too bossy. I understand. I'm here as a cover-up. Yep, Sis is going to be lonely now that you're leaving. Go on your journey, little brother. That's a bit of an exaggeration. I mean, if this works, I'll be back again. Hmm, we'll see about that. Well, what do you mean? Nothing. Good luck.
This is my house. I think it's big enough for two people, so it shouldn't be a problem. It's a luxury apartment. And it's on the top floor. I heard from Akine that Haruhiro is a very good cook and housekeeper. Well, I'm unemployed now, so I thought I'd do what I can. That's great. Now that we're here, let's have a good time. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to living with you, too. I was so nervous at first because it was my first time living with someone that wasn't my sister. But Kaho-san is kind, and we had played together a lot when we were kids, so I didn't think anything would be different, but... Haruhiro, I think I drank too much today. Kaho-san, are you always like this? No, I got carried away talking with you today. I wish you'd take me to bed. I don't know which room has the bed, though. Oh, the room at the front living room is Haruhiro's room, right? I'm okay with that. What? We're living together, aren't we? It's normal to spend the night together. It's a cover-up, isn't it? Oh, you were nervous just now. If it's a cover, we have to do it right. But I'm not mentally ready yet. Get ready now. Carry me to the bed in your arms, then. Uh, okay. I did as told and carried Kaho-san to her bed and was gonna sleep with her, but... We're gonna be sleeping together from now on, so you're gonna have to get used to it. I yes. Akine has days like this from time to time. I'll just think of her as a second sister. <sighs> oh no. I can't think of her as a second sister at all. She's a woman no matter how I look at it. You're warm, Haruhiro. Oh, yes. Thank you. This is not good for my mental health. I'll have to go to bed as soon as possible. That night, I was somehow able to sleep counting sheep, but when I woke up the next morning... I'm so sorry for being a nuisance from the first day. No, no. I'm glad you're already used to it. I see. Our hero, you're so kind. Oh, that's right. By the way, I was wondering if you wanted to work. W work? That's right, I'm the president of a company related to my father, and I was wondering if you could work there. Only if you're interested, though. I'll work. I want to be free from unemployment. That was the most immediate answer ever. And so, I got a job immediately. But I was still nervous because I still had bad memories of working at the corrupt company. This is Haruhiro Imai, a newcomer from today. So Yumi, please be his trainer. Yes. Haruhiro-san, you learn quickly. You are Kaho's partner, after all. What? You know? I have excellent intuition and research skills. I admire it. Kaho-san is about to be married off to another bigwig son. And that pure love between you two is to resist. Well, it's a cover-up to resist, but I'll keep quiet. Despite my worries, I was warmly welcomed and got used to my job. I was happy that the harder I worked, the more people around me accepted me. But the smooth days were interrupted suddenly. My father is coming to the house tomorrow with the man I've been told to marry. Have you told him about me? I have. That I'm in love with someone else and we're set on getting married. I told them to give it up, but he's being the most stubborn yet. It's not good. I guess we'll just have to convince him. Yeah, I hope he can. The next day, a dignified man in an expensive-looking suit and a man with a seemingly high level of consciousness entered the house without hesitation. I'm sorry, Kaho, but in the next month or so, I'd like you to marry him, Kazuma. Why? I don't want to. It's good for the company. And, more importantly, Kazuma's an amazing guy. Come on, it'll be great. No, I don't think he's amazing at all. I thought you would say so, Kaho-san. So I have further refined my abilities. Here are the documents showing my achievements. Wow, this guy's amazing. He's got all kinds of difficult certifications. I'm still planning to improve my skills, so at the very least, I think I'm more suitable for a fiancé than the very incompetent-looking man standing right in front of you. I said, I don't like and can't respect people who talk condescendingly, no matter how good you are. Oh, I see. But you can't be naive forever. You are the daughter of the president, after all. You are in a position where you have to succeed in business and accumulate achievements, right? So what? To be clear, being with incompetent people is a negative influence. I hate that kind of thinking, too. <sighs> what can I do to solve the situation? Uh, may I make a suggestion? What? I'm going to work hard as I can for the next month, 
and I like you to see how I do. Hm. You think that's going to change your reputation? Idiot. It seems you don't understand the benefits of getting married to me. Well, I guess you're just a commoner, so it can't be helped. I'm sorry, but I don't think you're that qualified. Still, I'd like you to give me a chance, please. Fine, it's free to look. I will do so. All right. No, this isn't the time to be happy at all. I'm going to have to work hard from here. From the next day, I started doing my job efficiently, communicating well with my colleagues and reporting to and consulting with my boss. I just did the basic things diligently. <sighs> After all, this is the only thing I can do. Harukiro, your good reputation is spreading like crazy. Really? That's great. Yep, but I'm sorry. I feel guilty seeing you work so hard for me. I can't forgive the unreasonable situation you're put under. Harihiro. So, Kao-san, please marry someone you love with all your heart. Thanks. I feel like if I keep going like this, it might work out. Oh, does that mean you're working something out in your love life? It's a secret. Don't worry about it yet, Harihiro. <laughs> I see. Too bad. My reputation continued to go up after that, and it seemed to have reached the ears of Kaho's father as well. Kaho's dad seems stubborn. I need to work harder. Her hero son, Kaho's designated fiance, seems to be in big trouble because of a series of revelations of excessive coaching and problematic behavior. Seriously? Well, it seems like he would do that, but. You should propose already and invite me to your wedding. <laughs> You're moving too fast. Yeah, my role may be over soon. That night, Kaho-san's father came to visit the house. You finally understand, don't you? How wonderful a man Haruhiro is. Hmm. Kazuma's got a lot of problems right now. I'm not so sure yet. You can't say that now! Okay, I'm going to be clear. I'm going to marry Haruhiro no matter what! Hmm. If you insist that much... Haruhiro, are you sure you're the right man for Kaho? Yes. Well, then do as you please. I'm out of your hair now. Th thank God. You've done it. My part in this is over, so I'll be out of Akine sounds by the end of the- Huh? What did you say? Oh, well, I've done my part, so- It's not over at all. What? It isn't. Don't tell me you still think it's a cover-up. If it's not a cover, does that mean the person you actually like is me? Yes, so stay with me. <sighs> Her big chest is pressing against me. Haruhiro, you've always been serious about helping me out when it matters most. When I was in elementary school, you helped me out when I got tangled up with a delinquent junior high school student, remember? I've liked you ever since that day. I... Can you only see me as an older sister? No. I I'm in love with you, Kaho-san. Really? So, you'll stay with me? Of course. Please, do the same. Haruhiro, stay by my side. And so, me and Kaho-san are officially living together on the premise of marriage, not as a cover-up. By the way, Kazuma-san has been punished with a disciplinary action, so he can't afford to disrespect me anymore. Kaho, take care of my little brother. He's never been in a relationship before, so you'll have to take the lead. Leave it to me. Haruhiro's perfect at his job already. All that's left is to spend lots of lovely time together. Oh, were you talking about me? We were. Well, I'm off then. <laughs> Why are you smiling like that? Hey, Haruhiro. Let's sleep together today, too. Yeah. You say that, but all you do is sleep next to me. Well... That's not good enough. We're getting married soon. So, let's do a lot more today. <laughs>